Earlier this week, Tulsa Opera walked into work Monday morning to see their glass doors shattered. CEO Lori Dector Wright mentioned any home or businesses with cameras can help catch who did this. We want businesses to thrive, and so making those investments in the cameras for their own security is probably a good idea. And then if they're willing to share that with Tulsa police or even just their neighbors in the, their commercial corridor, it helps, you know, it takes everyone to make it safe. It's crimes like this within a neighborhood that Captain Jacob Johnston with TPD's Real-Time Information Center says registering your home camera system with TPD can help solve crimes. He says by going online and just submitting contact information to let them know you have a camera. They'll call you to ask if you have the video of an incident, what happened, and if you can submit it to them to help with the investigation. It allows us to reach out and, and engage them on helping us with, in their community. Johnson wants to ensure the community police are not accessing your cameras whenever they want. They only get footage if you give it to them, ensuring your privacy. We don't know what kind of camera you have. We don't know how to access the camera. It is simply filling out a form, and then that information is communicated back to us. Dr. Wright says the responding officer mentioned she would look at the real-time information center's cameras to help catch the vandal. She says this program is helpful. A lot of people are opting into sharing their camera feeds with the real-time information center that we've stood up at TPD. And so businesses and residential uh, folks can opt in. As we talk about technology, I had technical difficulties. My apologies. But if you are interested in registering your camera, go to KTUL.com and click this story to learn how you can do that. And also, TPD has a program separate for businesses that they can tune in if they register their cameras at live time. Live, I'm Tanya Motorzitski, News Channel 8.